is a miracle walking God. Is a miracle walking God. Is the Alpha and Omega. Is a miracle walking God. Hallelujah. Is a miracle walking God. Is a miracle walking God. Is the Alpha and Omega. Is a miracle walking God. Hallelujah, is a miracle walking God. Is a miracle walking God. Is the Alpha and Omega. Is a miracle walking God. Oh, my channel, my last single, you're a miracle walking God. You're the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the ending. The first and the last, you are the one that who was the one who is the one who said to come here, the Almighty. You are the same yesterday, the same today, the same forever. You are the unchangeable God, the unchangeable changer. Father, Lord God, you are miracle working God. I commit to this program, but first of all, I want to thank you for all the previous spiritual breakfasts and all the miracle signs and wonders you perfected in our lives and the healing, deliverance, salvation, restoration. You did for us, oh God, I want to return all the glory, all the honor, and worship, praise, and thanks in Jesus' name. And Father, I commit to this program into your hand, and I ask that, Father, you will perfect. You, you are the God that answers our prayers, Father, answer our prayers. And I ask that all the prayers we have been believing you, or we have been praying, oh God, that has not been answered, let today be our day of answer prayers. Answer all our prayers by fire in the name of Jesus. And touch on every one of us at the point of our needs in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And I return all the glory in advance, all the honor that we shall pray the times. In Jesus' name, amen. Once again, I welcome you to Spiritual Breakfast, the program that ushers into to daily blessings. Your daily blessings. We are still on Let There Be Light, and today's broadcast, broadcast is 193 brokers of Let There Be Light. And our text is taken from Genesis chapter 1, verse 3. And the reason God says, let there be light, and there was light. I declare a command of prophesied by the mandate of heaven upon the powers investing me, that the Almighty God will be merciful and gracious to you and your family, to shine his glorious light upon you and your family, and remember you and perfect everything he has promised you, everything he has ordained for you, in the mighty name of the all that he has promised and ordained for you, God will perfect and bring to fusion, bring to manifestation today in the mighty name of Jesus. And I want to thank God for what he's going to do in your life today. Your life will never be the same again after this broadcast in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 65 verse 24 says, And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are here speaking, I will hear. That's God speaking. Why will God? Why will God? Why will he, Why will God answer before we call? Before we call, why will He answer? Because our life is pleasing unto Him. Our life is a life of righteousness. When we begin to live a life of righteousness, when we begin to live a life of holiness, then before we call, God will answer. And while we are here speaking, He will hear, because we are living a life pleasing to Him. We are honoring him by our daily living. We are honoring him by our lifestyles. And God becomes compassionate to us. He becomes merciful and gracious unto us. So I want to advise you, if you are hearing me today, make your life pleasing to God. Let your life be pleasing to God. Let your life bring joy to God Almighty. Let everything you do, oh, fear God and have fear of God in everything you do. And God will begin to bring to pass Isaiah 65 verse 24 into your life in the name of Jesus. By the mandate of heaven upon my life, the powers invested in me. I declare I command and prophesy that the Almighty God will arise and be gracious to you and your family today in the mighty name of Jesus. He will be gracious to you. He will be gracious to you in every area of your life and He will grant you a heart desire in the name of Jesus. By the mandate of heaven upon my life, that the powers invested in me. I declare I command and I prophesy that the Almighty God we hear your call today. He will hear your call today and grant you and your family speedy answer to your prayers. 
Speedy answers to your prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. By the mandate of heaven upon all and the powers invested in me, I declare and command and professor that I should pray this morning and speak to the into the ears of the Almighty God. He will do as you have spoken into his ears and grant you an accelerated answer. As grant you an accelerated answer, accelerated promotion, and accelerated success. So your prayers in the name of Jesus. He will grant you your answers. As I read answer to your prayers, and you bring to power, come to pass everything he has ordained you for me. Or the day for you, whatever he has ordained you to be, he will bring them to come to pass. God has a purpose for all of us. He has a purpose for us. He has a reason why he created us. He has an immeasurable amount of blessing he has blessed us with. He has a number of glory he has ordained for us. He has everything he has proportioned to us. And as today, as you speak to his ear today, as you call them and speak to him, he's here today, you will soon be praying right now. Some of you want me to pray for certain things concerning you. You will open your mouth and pray. You say you receive not because you ask not. You say, ask so your joy be full. You open your mouth and pray. And God will grant you a clarity answer to your prayers. And he will bring to pass everything you have been believing him for. In the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight is the time for you to, I want to make an altar call. And peradventure you are hearing me and you have never given your life to Christ. You have not confessed your sins. It, the, the Isaiah 65 verse 24 is for those who are called by his name. He said if the people who are called by my name shall repent and shall, shall repent and change their ways of life. He said I will hear from heaven. I will heal their land. So if you have never confessed your sin, this is an opportunity for you to confess your sin to God, ask Him to forgive you, ask Him to cleanse you from all right, all unrighteousness. As that the blood of Jesus that cleanses and makes us white as snow, which cleanses you from all unrighteousness, will cleanse you from all iniquity and make you as white as snow. Accept His, his Son Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior and Master, so that He can begin to manage your life. You can begin to bring to pass everything he had ordained you to be. God ordained you for a purpose. He has a level he has created you to be. It's only when you are give your life to Christ, when your name is written in the blank book of life, that God can begin to bring to pass everything he has ordained you to be. And I want you to give your life to Christ and make it a point of duty to come back to God, to live a life pleasing to him. And Isaiah 64 65 verse 24 will become your portion whenever you pray. God will answer you by fire. He said, while you are here speaking, he will answer. Before they call, I will answer. But while you are here speaking, I will hear. Isaiah 65 verse 24 will become your portion. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and give, confess your sin. Give your life to Christ. Accept his Lord, his Son Jesus as a Lord and Savior and Master. In Jesus' name. And now, let me ask you, what do you want God to do for you? And your, your, what do God, God to do for you? What do you want God to do for you in your life? What do you want God to do for your family, your business, your ministry, your marriage? What do you want? What is Are you believing God for today? I want you to open your mouth now to pray as I join my faith with your faith. Open your mouth and begin to tell God what you want this morning. Open your mouth and tell God what exactly you want Him to do for you. He will answer you by fire. Go on your knees, put your right hand ahead and begin to talk to God right now. He said, God that answers prayer, open your mouth and tell him he's a merciful God. He's a compassionate God, he's a gracious God. Tell him what you want him to do for you. And he will answer you by fire in the name of your Rimbo Shakanda. In the mighty name of our Father, by, by, by the mind of heaven upon all the powers invested in me, I declare and I command and I prophesy that you will answer your children by fire. Answer your children by fire and grant them all their hard desires. Grant them all their hard desires. Touch them at every point of your life. Touch them at every area of your life. Touch them with the finger of healing, deliverance, salvation, and restoration. Touch them with the finger of miracles, signs, and wonders. And grant them all their hard desires in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray, and I thank you for that answer prayers in Jesus' name. I will see you same time tomorrow, 5 a.m. God bless you, and God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen, and amen, and amen.